طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, the lecture will be about radiation units وحدات الأشعة uh, so this is very important lecture for uh, all the radiation safety officers uh, because um, uh, we cannot recognize the uh, risk of radiation unless we know the units for example if I say the activity uh, of this radioactive material is 100 and I don't mention the unit, Curie or Becquerel, so I don't reflect the, the risk of the uh, associated with this uh, radiation materials. Uh, I always give a uh, um, good example for the importance of the radiation units. Uh, if the car speed uh, mentioned uh, just numbers, for example, I drive the car 100 and I don't mention the unit of the speed of the car, if it is mile per hour or kilometer per hour or meter per hour. So this will not reflect the, the speed uh, if I'm driving very fast or uh, if I'm driving within the speed limit. So again, the, the units is very important. It's very critical, especially for the uh, radiation safety, because uh, once we know the unit, we can classify uh, the uh, the risk of the radiation, even for example, the radioactive transportation is mainly classified based on the activity uh, of the uh, of the packages. Uh, so uh, also for the dose limits to save us uh, as a workers or for the public, we always use the radiation units. So, um, uh, as I uh, instructed by the organizers, I will mix uh, the, the lecture between uh, uh, Arabic and English language just to uh, meet all the audiences in, the, in this course. Uh, so, the الأشياء جدا مهمة. أهمية تخلي الإنسان يعرف ويقدر الخطورة اللي جالس يتعامل معها. مثلها مثل سرعة السيارة. لو أنا قلت أسوق السيارة بسرعة معينة بدون ما أذكر الوحدة، فأنا في الحقيقة ما أقدر أقول أنا أسوق ضمن السرعة القانونية ولا أكثر ولا أقل. فالوحدات جدا جدا مهمة نفس الشيء في الراديشن بل أكثر أهمية لأنها تعكس لنا الخطورة وال... وأيضا السيفتي ريجوليشنز اللي هو القوانين و... وتوصيات الحماية من الشعاع التي عدتها المنظمات الدولية والمحلية طيب مقدمة just introduction at the beginning just I will remind you about the different types of radiations we are mainly dealing with the four main uh, types of radiations, alpha particles, beta particles, uh, gamma and X-rays, neutrons. Uh, I always use the, fair, uh, the term uh, particles with the alpha and beta, uh, and we, don't, we, we cannot say gamma particles. Why? Because basically uh, the, the rest mass uh, of the gamma rays and X-rays is zero because they are photons. So I cannot say if there is no rest mass, or if the rest mass is equal to zero, I cannot say this, these are particles. While uh, alpha and beta, they have a, a rest mass, so I can call them particles or radiation. Radiation is a very general term, uh, include all of these types of radiation. Uh, so uh, the characteristics of alpha, <coughs> يعني خصائص alpha, uh, the main characteristics is can be stopped easily uh, within four centimeter in air, or we can use just sheet of paper to stop the alpha because they are heavy, heavy particles. Why, while uh, beta can transfer in the in the air a uh, few meters. So uh, uh, to stop beta, uh, I need uh, the low Z material. Uh, for example, plastic or, or aluminum sheets to stop uh, beta uh, uh, particles. Gamma and X-rays, they usually have high energies. So uh, we usually use high Z materials, for example, uh, lead or uh, tungsten or uh, all the high Z materials, but we use mainly lead because it's, it's very practical and it's very cheap uh, compared to, for example, the gold or compared to uh, uh, silver materials. They, are have, they have high Z materials, but they are very expensive. For the neutrons, Usually, we can uh, use um, uh, concrete to stop the neutrons because the concrete is rich for, for water uh, within the mixture of the concrete. So just this, uh, to remind you about the, 
the uh, different types of uh, radiations as, as introduction. The third slide uh, covers the decay equation, uh, and from this equation, we will define very important uh, units, uh, the unit of the activity. Uh, so basically, the, uh, uh, the number of uh, the nuclides present in the uh, original, uh, in the atom, is proportional to the differentiation between the number of uh, nuclides and uh, uh, time. So the, uh, the proportional constant is lambda. Lambda is the decay constant. And if we uh, so solve this differentiation equation, we will get nt equal its, uh, to n naught uh, and uh, multiply by exponential mi uh, minus lambda t. So uh, if we also uh, get out, um, uh, if we want to define very important term, which is uh, called the half-life, العمر النصفي. Uh, Half-life basically is the time required for amount of radioactive materials to decrease by one half. And this is very important term. And usually the half-life unit is the unit of the time. Sometimes we use years, sometimes we use uh, hours or seconds, depending on the, uh, the half-life value. So if it is very short, we will use uh, seconds or uh, hours. If it is very, very long, we will use days or, uh, or years. Uh, so uh, basically from this definition of the half-life, we can get the uh, equation that calculates the uh, half-life. If, uh, if we know the uh, at uh, n uh, uh, t equal to t half, that means n uh, will be equal to n naught divided by two. So if I put in the, uh, in the second equation one, uh, in, uh, in the left uh, side, n naught uh, divided. Uh, okay, so I received just one note, I will, uh, I will enlarge the slides, okay. Now I think you can see it clearly. So from this, uh, equation, we can, uh, sorry, from this equation, if I use the definition of the, uh, t, uh, the t half or the half life, so this n naught divided by two, so the n naught will uh, uh, so also goes with the, will go with the uh, n naught, so I have half in the left side of the equation, and if I use the lin to uh, get off the exponential uh, uh, sign, I will get the lin half equal to uh, minus lambda t, and uh, at the end, the t half will be equal to ln2, and the value ln2 by the, by the calculator is 0 0.693 divided by the lambda. So this is very important, and I think you will cover this uh, in uh, one of the uh, course uh, lectures uh, uh, in details, how to calculate uh, the uh, uh, t half and how to calculate lambda and also uh, how to calculate the activity after a certain time, like radioactivity calculations. But here we will just cover only the units. Uh, so uh, we I will focus only in the radiation units, uh, especially the major uh, quantities of radiation. So uh, f f uh, from the previous question, we covered the radioactivity equation. So we need to uh, uh, describe the radioactivity unit. So basically the radioactivity means the disintegration rate of radioactive nuclides is called the, its activity. So the activity, it describes the disintegration rate of the radioactive nuclides. So uh, as the, uh, uh, the radioactive material is, is uh, still un unstable, it will continue to disintegrate or decay uh, emit by emitting different types of radiation, depending on the decay scheme. Sometimes they uh, emit alpha or emit gamma, or sometimes they emit two types of radiation at the same time based on the decay scheme. So uh, if we define this disintegration rate or disintegration per second, this is basically uh, the Bikril uh, uh, discovered by the, uh, the scientist Henry Bikril. Uh, so uh, the one Bikril is equal to one disintegration per second. So this is one, uh, this is very important unit. Now we start to cover the 
uh, when, uh, one of the important units of radiation is the activity unit. The activity unit is the Bicryl and uh, basically means one disintegration per second. So uh, because the Bicryl is very low value uh, relatively, so we use uh, in practice, we use uh, usually um, uh, higher uh, uh, portions like kilo Bicryl, uh, 10 to power three, mega Bicryl, 10 to power six, giga Bicryl, 10 to power nine, uh, tera Bicryl, uh, 10 to power 12. Uh, just before I uh, mention the relation between the Curie and Bicryl, I want just to uh, highlight very important about this definition. Uh, this, uh, all the radiation emits, uh, all the radioactive materials emits radiation uh, in random processes. What, uh, what does that mean? Uh, for example, uh, if I say the activity of this material, uh, 100 um, Bicryl uh, and emitting gamma, uh, this means emitting 100 gammas per second. But because the radiation emits randomly, this doesn't mean each second will not emit 100. For example, the first second will give me 100 gammas. The second uh, second may, may give me zero. The third second will give me 200 gammas. So on average, in average, it will, uh, the activity, it will stay uh, 100 uh, Bicryl or 100 disintegrations per second. So this is what we mean by the, the activity because they follow the, statistically, they follow the random behavior. Uh, so uh, we take the average uh, of, the, of this disintegration as the activity. Uh, the Bicryl is SI unit. So it is international standard unit. Uh, while uh, some countries uh, still uh, uh, use a Curie or the text uh, box in the field of radiation, they are still use Curie. So we need to know the relationship between the Curie and Bicryl. And I will give you uh, several examples at the end of this lectures because especially people who are uh, will enter the exam for the certificate, they have to uh, be uh, able to uh, convert the units, uh, radiation units. So uh, one of the important uh, questions, usually they will ask how to convert between Curie to Bicryl. Sometimes uh, um, I'm, I'm like uh, in your institution or in your uh, company, you will uh, request uh, radioactive materials uh, from, for example, Germany, and they will send you the activity in, in Curie and you are dealing uh, with the Bicryl. So you have to, uh, as a radiation safety officer or uh, working in the field of radiation, you, you, you should be able to convert between the Curie and Bicryl. So uh, we will uh, do uh, together several examples, exercises together uh, to convert between Curie and uh, Bicryl. So one Curie is equal to 3.7 to multiply to 10 power 10 Bicryl, or in other words, 37 giga Bicryl, one Curie is equal to 37 giga Bicryl. So this is also again the equation of the activity with the time or the activity with the uh, half-life. If, if I use lambda, it will be this relation, a, a at, at uh, t any time, at any time, uh, it equal to a, a naught, the original activity, multiplied by exponential lambda lambda t at any time. If I, uh, if, uh, if, I'm, uh, if I don't know the lambda, but I know the half-life, so I can use the equation as uh, at equal to a naught uh, multiplied exponential minus lin 2.693 uh, uh, t divided by uh, t half. Before I start the, 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 like the, the journey of radiation and its units, as uh, as a dose or as exposure, I just will summarize in this slide all the story. So uh, the next slide will highlight these uh, units in details. Basically, if the radiation and specifically gamma gamma rays or X rays uh, travel in uh, a sample of air with the mass m, the mass of the sample of air m. Uh, in kilogram, uh, they usually the radiation will produce uh, electrical uh, charges, and we call this rontgen 
or we call the this is the exposure in rontgen. So this is the first unit we uh, are trying to identify is the rontgen. So the rontgen basically describe the exposure with two conditions, and I will explain this later uh, just uh, in details. Uh, with two conditions, the first one uh, in sample uh, of air. So I'm not talking about the human body. يعني أنا أتكلم عن عينة في الهواء فقط ما أتكلم عن جسم الإنسان. Uh, this is the first condition to uh, to use rontgen. The second uh, condition to use rontgen, I have just to describe the charges produced only by X-rays or gamma rays, not not by uh, alpha particles, for example, or beta particles. Uh, this is uh, what we call the exposure in rontgen. It's the the SI unit is column per kilogram because the rontgen, uh, as we are going to see in the next slide, how to define or how to relate between the rontgen and the charge uh, unit per kilogram. Uh, this is an air sample. In case of the energy of the radiation, any radiation absorbed, absorbed by any material, like maybe human body or water or air, we will call this absorbed dose. Absorbed dose basically describe the transferred uh, or deposited energy of radiation uh, in the uh, in the uh, material M with the unit of kilogram. So uh, the gray basically equal to joule per kilogram because the unit of the energy is joule and the unit of the mass is kilogram. And basically the absorbed dose describe the deposited energy in joule per kilogram, per unit of the mass kilogram. Okay, now we are dealing with the inner radiation. We call it absorbed dose and the SI unit uh, gray and the old unit rim. And we will explain the relation between them later on, inshallah, in this uh, lecture. Now I will move to a complicated situation or complicated uh, argument. Uh, if the, uh, this material or this human body exposed to different types of radiation. Will this material or will this uh, object receive the same dose? Of course, no. So we have to define something called equivalent dose. The equivalent dose differentiate between the effect of the type of radiation. That means I have to multiply the absorbed dose by a factor called a radiation weighting factor. And the radiation weighting factor will reflect the risk of the type of radiation. For example, in gamma rays and X-rays, the it's uh, WR equal to one, while in, in gamma, sorry, in alpha equal to 20, because the alpha is more dangerous uh, than uh, uh, gamma rays and X-rays, especially inside the human body. So we define term called equivalent dose. The third, uh, sorry, the fourth term, uh, I have to define Okay, assume a human body exposed to one type of radiation, gamma rays only. However, two different organs are exposed. For example, the eyes and let's say the lung. Are they the same radio sensitivity? Of course, no. So we have to define uh, a factor to correct for the radio sensitivity of these organs. So we call this uh, factor a tissue weighting factor or organ weighting factor. And this will reflect the radio sensitivity of different organs. And the uh, values are given by ICRB uh, and updated in the latest ICRB uh, 106. So in the next slide, I will explain these terms in details. Let's start uh, just to uh, uh, revise the query in details uh, and its relation with the disintegration per minute. We define the Bickerel disintegration per second. Uh, the Curie is a uh, uh, unit related to the disintegration per minute. And uh, one Curie is equal to 2.2 multiplied to 10 power 12 disintegration per minute. And usually uh, in practice, we use a small amount of Curie. So we are dealing with micro Curie or milli Curie. Micro 10 to power minus six, milli 10 to power minus three. Uh, unlike the Bickerel, we use kilo or mega Bickerel mainly. Uh, in Curie, we use mainly micro or millicurie because Curie is very, very 
high um, value. As we said, one query is equal to 37 gigabicrel. It's very high. So again, what is the bicrel? It's basically the amount of radioactive materials which decays at rate of one disintegration per second. So we have three units for the activity. They are not the same. Curie, disintegration per minute, bicrel. And I can transfer or I can convert between these units easily. For example, we mentioned the relationship between the curie and bicrel, and now we mentioned the relationship between the curie and disintegration per minute. And the curie is SI unit. One important note, uh, I don't know if you have covered the detectors, uh, lectures, or instrumentations, or you will cover it, inshallah, in the next days. Uh, we have, uh, as you know, uh, the function of the detector is to get the count rate, for example. The detectors to get the count rate. Uh, for example, I put a um, scintillator detector in front of any radioactive materials, I will get count rate. Count rate may be like uh, counts per second or counts per minute, whatever the calibration uh, of this uh, device. What I want just to mention here, the count rate is not the activity. The count rate is not the activity. Why? Because the detector is not 100 efficient. Firstly, the, the radiation emits isotropically in all directions. Even though if I put the detectors uh, surrounding the radioactive materials in all directions, again, what I'm getting from these detectors, it will not be an activity because the detector, all these detectors are not efficient 100%. Uh, for example, we have uh, dead time limitation. We have, for example, escapes, photons, penetrate the detectors without detection. We have backscatter from the detectors. We have absorbed uh, photons without detection in the, in the cover of the detector or in the window of the detector. So uh, just remember this, the count rate is not uh, the activity. If in the unit, if get, for example, uh, 100 gammas per second from the detector as a count rate, this is not the activity. How can I transfer this count rate to activity by this equation? By this equation, this integration per minute, this is the activity unit, which is related to Curie in the, in the previous slide, is equal to count per minute, CPM, count per minute. This is count rate by detector, divided by detector efficiency. If the detector efficiency 100%, the count rate will be equal to the activity. And this in practice impossible. There is no, there is no 100 efficient detector uh, currently. Okay, now we return to the uh, also radiation dose. We, uh, we finished the activity units. Now we will cover the radiation dose units. We will start with the runtigen, as I said. Basically the runtigen, uh, or one runtigen is equal to depositing in dry air enough energy to cause 2.58 multiplied to 10 power minus four uh, column per kilogram. So this by this by this equation or by this relation, I can uh, calculate uh, how many exposed in, rent, in runtigen any sample of air by uh, any uh, gamma rays or X rays with different energies. So uh, one runtigen is equal to 2.58 uh, to 10 power minus four column per kilogram. Uh, and basically it measures uh, of the ionization of the molecules in a mass of air. Uh, not, uh, not uh, suitable this uh, unit for uh, alpha or beta particles, only uh, used for the gamma and X-rays. Also, we use the RIM. The most common used unit for medium radiation dose in people is the RIM. It's a very old unit uh, and stands for Runtigen Equivalent for Man. So uh, uh, basically, a Runtigen uh, International Unit Fix uh, or uh, Gamma Rays adjusted for the atomic makeup of the human body. So uh, we use mainly uh, small amount, for example, again, same Curie, milli RIM or micro RIM because uh, the rim is relatively 
uh, large unit. And we will summarize this in the next table after a few slides. Now, uh, the rod is the old unit of the radiation absorbed dose, the old unit for the radiation absorbed dose, uh, and basically uh, is the amount of exposure to any type of material, not only air, from any type of radiation and uh, measured in joule per kilogram. So we term as a gray is the uh, basically corresponds to the transfer one joule to one kilogram of material. And this is SI unit. The gray is SI unit while the rod is the old, old unit. For the neutrons uh, and other uh, types of radiation quantities, we use, for example, flux. Uh, and the flux is defined by the uh, number of uh, dn by the dt, while the dn is the insertment of the particle number in the time interval uh, dt. So the flux n is the differentiation between dn and dt, and unit usually number per second. Number per second. For example, if I say the flux of the neutrons, for example, it will be like uh, in the reactor, for example, it will be, for example, like uh, three uh, multiplied to 10 power eight uh, per second, neutrons per, per second. And also we define the fluence F as the quantity of dn by the dA. In this, uh, in this term, we take the, uh, how, much how many particles incident on a sphere of cross-sectional area dA uh, and uh, take into account the uh, cross-sectional area. So the unit will be number per uh, meter square. Also for the uh, attenuation, uh, as you just let me uh, write the uh, equation of the, so I remember that I is equal to uh, I naught multiply by uh, exponential minus mu um, X. So this mu uh, is uh, is this the attenuation coefficient? This is the attenuation equation, and this is the number of uh, intensity of the photons at any thickness, and this is the intensity of the photons or the count rate of the photons at thickness zero, uh, multiplied by exponential minus mu X X the any thickness uh, that uh, absorb the material. So the mu is the attenuation coefficient and the unit per centimeter. And usually we use different units based on the thickness unit. For example, if I'm using thickness of meters, the attenuation coefficient will be per meters. And also we uh, always remember the unit of the work, Joule. Uh, this is because we mentioned the Joule several times in uh, the definition of the, uh, for example, the absorbed dose. Uh, however, we don't use Joule as to describe the energy of radiation. We use mainly uh, electron volt. All the, uh, you see the unit of the kinetic energy of radiation it will be described in electron volt, but however, you should be able to convert between one, uh, one joule to electron volt. So one electron volt is equal to uh, 1.602 uh, multiplied to 10 power uh, minus 19 joule. So uh, from this equation, I can calculate uh, how much uh, energy in electron volt produced by the unit, for example, one kilogram. I will give you examples, inshallah, uh, after we finish uh, the explanation of these units. Uh, these examples are very useful, especially for the exam, inshallah. As I mentioned uh, at the beginning or as introduction of the, this lecture, one of the important use of the radiation uh, uh, units is to, uh, for example, to describe the radiation dose limits. So, الوحدات يعني تحدد الجرعات الشائعية وحدود الجرعة الشائعية. For example, we use, uh, and also we, we can know uh, the, uh, the radiation exposure types, for example, the background radiation exposure types, and I will cover this in the next lecture, uh, the difference uh, 
radiation sources and applications. Like we will differentiate between the natural background and the occupational exposure, etc. However, just just to show you the the importance of using these uh, radiation units. These are, for example, the occupation radiation exposure limits in, in REM, and it can be also given by uh, also by uh, uh, Sievert, uh, according to the ICRB recommendations, the latest one, 106. But just to show you the importance of using these radiation units. So to summarize, we have uh, two main uh, types of quantities. We have uh, activity quantities, or rate of disintegration. And also on the right side, we have those uh, or the exposure uh, quantities. In the uh, rate or uh, disintegration quantities, we have uh, four uh, units uh, and we exclude one of them. So we have only three units. The first one, disintegration per minute, DBM, disintegration per minute. The second one, Curie. The third one, important one, uh, Bickerel, and this is the SI unit. Remember this, count per minute is not disintegration. Count per minute is not disintegration, just count rate. So in the next, uh, on the right uh, side, we have the dose and the exposure terms or units. We define the rontigen as unit of the uh, uh, exposed uh, air of sample uh, by the radiation gamma rays or X-rays. And also we define the absorbed dose of the uh, unit of rad, rad or, or gray SI unit. And for the equivalent dose, uh, and I think you will cover this in separate lecture, uh, dose calculations and different because uh, you will get uh, how to calculate the equivalent dose, how to calculate the effective dose. However, the unit of the equivalent dose, the old one is rim, and the new uh, unit is the Sievert, and this is the SI unit. How to transfer uh, these units? Uh, as we said, uh, Becquerel is one disintegration per second, and the Curie is equal to 3.7 to 10 power 10 disintegration per second, or Becquerel. Uh, gray is uh, one joule per kilogram, and one rod is equal to uh, 0 0.01 gray. And uh, I like to use uh, the opposite way. A gray is 100 rad. It's easy to remember. One gray is equal to 100 rad. And the Seifert is one joule uh, deposited in, in one kilogram. And uh, one rim is equal to 0 0.01 Seifert, or uh, you can say one Seifert is equal to 100 rim. In the exam, uh, I think you will be given all these uh, uh, like these uh, relationships. So you just need to, to uh, familiarize yourself how to use uh, these uh, uh, equations. So we will have uh, we will have the few separate examples. Then we will take a short break before we start the uh, second uh, lecture, inshallah, or the last one. So assume now I will just. Uh, get this with you step by step. Now, uh, assume you have, you have five, uh, sorry, 15 millicurie of uh, technetium 99M. This is radioactive material. How, how many uh, or how much in, in, uh, in mega becquerel? So I will use firstly the given uh, one curie. One curie is equal to uh, three point, Seven multiply to ten power um, ten. This is bigger. So I like usually to simplify this and use like for example, uh, if I use Curie, uh, I will use uh, all the both. Uh, I mean relation in Curie. So I I will transfer fifteen in milli Curie. That means fifteen multiply to ten power minus three. So this is comes from milli, okay? So this is, now this is a Curie. I can't use Curie with milli Curie. I have to use both in the same uh, uh, level of the uh, quantity. So how much X in Becquerel? I know the question asks in mega Becquerel, but let me do it in Becquerel, then I will transfer 
uh, or convert in, in megapixel. So it's very simple now to find X in Bikril. Again, X will be in Bikril, not megapixel. So X is equal to uh, uh, 15 multiply by 10 to power minus 3 multiply by 3.7 to 10 power uh, 10. So divided by one, all divided by one, one comes from this, one query, okay? So if I sort this, uh, the X will be by the calculation, 3.7 multiply 10 to power 10. Now, this is Bikril, okay, okay. this is Bikril. Now, it's, the question was to find in Mega Bikril. So, uh, from Bikril to Mega Bikril, I have to divide by 1 million. I have to divide by 1 million. So, uh, X in Mega Bikril, it will be 3.7, 3.7, multiply 10 to power 10 divided by 1 million, which is 10 to power 6. 6 will goes with 10, it will uh, only 4 left. So x is equal to 3.7 uh, multiply to 10 power 4 megapixel. So just try to do it step by step, especially if you are at the beginning of trying to uh, familiarize yourself how to do these uh, calculations. So this is in details how to do uh, the answer of this, for example, this uh, question. Let's go to the, sorry. Now the same question, let me uh, just, The second exercise, the same one, just only we try 10 millicuri instead of 15 millicuri, and you will get the, the, the answer uh, uh, like this one. Okay, now this exercise, how to convert 10 milligray to rad, Let's do it together in details. So uh, remember, I like this uh, one gray as a large unit is equal to 100 rad. So now X, X gray, I will not say now milli gray, I will do it later. How much, uh, sorry, 10 milli gray, 10 to uh, multiply to power 10 minus three, this is comes from milli, and this is gray now, x rad. So x is equal وسطين uh, خطرفين يعني in simply by me. Uh, so x will be uh, ten to power multiply ten to power minus three multiply by one hundred all divided by one. So if I do this, it will be uh, 100 with 10 will be 1000. 1000 multiply 10 to milli, it will be one, one. So one rat. This is how to convert between gray to rat. So I like to do it step by step. Um, if you can do it quickly, you can, uh, uh, I mean, sometimes if requested, like for example, uh, kilo rad or like this, uh, I can also divide it by uh, uh, 1000 at the same time, but I like to do it in just step by step, uh, return all the units to its uh, original without milli, without micro, without mega or kilo.
now convert one uh, to, sorry ten millisievert to rem. If we do this together again, using the relationship between the the relationship between sievert one sievert is equal to one hundred rem. So now uh, ten millisievert to to ten multiply ten power minus minus three. This is milli. Okay, sievert equal x rem. So x will be equal to 10 multiplied to 10 power minus 3 sievert multiplied by 100 divided all by 1. 1 comes from this side. Okay, so it's x will be 1 rem. If I do this by calculator, if I do it by my uh, break quickly, 100 multiplied 10, this is 1,000. 1,000 will go with the uh, milli, 10 to power minus 3, it will be 1 only. So they are very simple, but you need to familiarize yourself, especially for the exam, you will, uh, I think you'll receive sort of these questions. Now uh, convert 50 rem to uh, millisievert. So this is uh, now again, I start with one and one sievert is equal 100 rem. This is the original relationship between sievert and rem. Now it's X sievert, not millisievert. I will do the milli later. How much 50 rem? So the X will be 50 divided by uh, 100. So it's equal to 0.5 sievert. Now I will find X in millisievert, so I will multiply by 1000. Okay, from uh, like uh, small to large, uh, I divided by, sorry, I multiply from the, like from mega, from uh, kilo to mega, I divided by 1000. From uh, sievert to millisievert, I will divide, I will multiply by 1000. So 0 0.5 multiply by 1000 is equal to 500 millisievert. So this, you have just, I always realize most the mistakes comes from milli or micro or these like uh, small uh, uh, mistakes. So you have to always familiarize yourself how to convert from cipher to milli or from micro to milli because these are the tricky uh, parts in the, in the question of the conversion of the units because you will give in this this will be given in the exam. So you just you need to familiarize yourself how to do this part. Okay. Now this micro, uh, let's see the time. If we have time, we'll do it. Otherwise just you will, I'll do it uh, briefly. Oh, okay. Uh, let's do this because it's micro at the first time. Let's do it quickly. Um, so now uh, one again, one query, I will start from the original relation. So, uh, it's equal to 3.7 multiplied to 10 power 10 becquerel. So this is, so I have one milli curie, my, sorry, micro curie. So one multiply to 10 power minus six minus six because micro. Now this is a curie again. The left side, I make it the same left side of the uh, above relation. So how much X becker? So again, X will be easily uh, one multiplied to 10 power minus six, minus six, multiply by 10, Sorry, 3.7, 3.7 multiplied to 10 power 10 uh, 
becquerel divided all by one. And so the X will be So here, minus six will go with the 10, I will uh, four left. So 3.7 multiplied to 10 power four, bigger. Listen details up. <laughs> Sorry. Next one, the next exercise. <clears throat> Uh, 10 becquerel to mercury. I think you are now expert how to do this now from the previous uh, examples. So try it at home and you will get the answer 2.7 mercury. Now this is very easy, but tricky one. How much five uh, multiplied to 10 power eight disintegration per second to mega becquerel? Basically this, uh, just let me try it. Basically, this uh, <clears throat> so I want to use the uh, pointer without uh, going to the next slide. Where is it? Yes. Basically, uh, this is this disintegration per second. This is a big rip. So I'm just saying a different way. I'm, I'm reading the question in a different way. How much five uh, multiplied to 10 power eight becquerel to mega becquerel? I just want to transfer becquerel to mega becquerel. So I will divide only by 1 million. So if I divide one, one by uh, 1 million, I will, uh, uh, six will go with the eight. So uh, two left. So five to 10 power two, this means 500 mega becquerel. Convert one gray of gamma to millisievert. I know this the, uh, because WR, WR, let me do it with you. Uh, because uh, here we know the absorb dose, absorb dose. It's equal to W R multiplied by the sorry sorry effective dose uh, absorbed dose multiplied by the W R. So the E and C first you will get uh, more exercise and uh, explanation in the in the dose uh, lecture in this course is equal to uh, one gray multiply by one because the value are for the gamma one. This will be given in the exam. Don't worry about the values. So the E is equal to one sievert. Now I need to get the answer in millisievert. So I multi multiply by 1000. So E it will be uh, one multiply 1000 to convert to milli. عشان احول الى milli لابد تضرب في الف. وإذا بحول إلى كيلو أقسم على ألف. It will be صفرت. So this is how to do this one. The last exercise how to convert the energy from the rest mass of the electron two point one. Uh, multiply to 10 power minus 31 kilogram. So I'll do this with you. So remember this one electron volt is equal to uh, 1.602210 10 multiply 10 power minus 19, minus 19 uh, joule. And now X, uh, uh, the X in electron volt. How much? Now I have the MC square, MC square to calculate the MC square 
to calculate the energy in joule. So now m is 9.1 multiplied to 10 power uh, minus 31. This is the mass of the electron multiplied by uh, 3 multiplied to 10 power 8 speed of uh, flight square. This is square. So now I calculate the, I calculate calculate the uh, uh, the energy in uh, joule. So if I do X now, uh, by this, now I remove this just, this extra explanation. Now I, I'll do this, uh, X is equal to this. I will uh, uh, find this by calculator, divided by this. Okay, so I will multiply by calculator this part until I find the value, then uh, divide it by this part. So the X will be multiply to 10 power 6 electron volt. So X in million electron volt as requested by the exercise or in the question. And I will divide it by 10 to power 6. Sorry, this is, should be no, should be 9 by the calculator. So multiply to 10 power uh, 9 divided by 1 million, 10 to power 6. Now this should be 3, yes. Sorry for that, three. If I do this by calculator, I do this part, I will get this value. So I divide it by one million to get X in, in milli electron volt. So X is equal, uh, I can write it in 0.511 uh, million electron volt, or I can say 511 to 10 power minus three, minus three. million electron volt. So this is the, how to calculate first the energy produced by the mass of the electron by this one, mc squared. Then how to convert using this relationship between energy and joule. And this is very important to do the dose calculations. And I think you will cover this in, the, in this course, the details, how to calculate the uh, radiation uh, dose. Let's take a short break. That's it for the radiation units. Uh, we'll have short break for five to 10 minutes. Uh, then we'll inshallah start the last lecture. If you have any question, you can uh, ask about this lecture, any question, or, or if you want to keep your questions at the end of the, of the course, that will be also okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you for everyone, and we'll see you, inshallah, after uh, about uh, 10 minutes, inshallah. Uh, and the last one, it will be, uh, it will be very short uh, lecture, the uh, application of radiation, because just this informatic uh, 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 notes, uh, not like this one is very important for the, uh, all the arts, so, so we will just highlight the uh, 